Good morning, folks. Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastic. Today, what we're doing is something very unusual. Living space, and we're in Alameda. It's all landfill, sandy, so what the folks did here is they hired Ken Gutlaven to do the foundation. Now, you need about 20, 30 years under your belt before you try to handle some kind of foundation work like this. It's very difficult. What we're doing is the stucco work. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to stucco these walls here on the bottom. This is the first phase. We're going through a lot of phases on this place. Um, and so, we're in the middle of June, and I was going to pressure wash this wall here, as well as the ones around here, in order for our grace membrane to adhere to this concrete. And after we place our grace membrane on this concrete, we're going to cover this grace membrane also. We want to watertight this foundation, although it's a foot thick and chances of it leaking are pretty slim. We're still going to do it. Anyway, if I pressure wash this, we've already it seemed like we've had eight months of rain this year, so I decided to come in here and we're going to wire brush it. I'm going to wire brush all this dust off. And then I'm going to use the Grace Membrane product. It comes with its own adhesive. We're going to uh, apply that adhesive to this cement. Then we're going to Grace Membrane this. If you walk around, I'll show you what we're going to end up with. Uh, we are going to Grace the wood here also and come down. We're going to take this original membrane, put it back up, and go over the top of it. Therefore, the whole foundation is sealed. Follow me around here and I'll show you. Well, you can walk that way. I guess I'll come up here. We're going to do that area also. If you walk around, I'll show you an area that's already been done. This way you'll see what we're doing today. This is not something we're doing today. That's the second stage of our project. Over here is something we are doing today. Now, this is concrete. And so, when the grace membrane was applied, it was applied directly to the concrete. This part is wood. Hear that? Wood, concrete. So we decided uh, might as well just grace everything. So the grace has come over here. An important thing to remember when you're doing the grace membrane over concrete or wood is get your corners tight. This corner comes in here, it goes. It doesn't roll. If it rolls, those rolls sometimes leak. So. We are going to be placing a 3.4 self third mesh over this and using uh, hammers, magnets, and nails to adhere it. And then each nail, we will caulk that in order for no water to penetrate it. And our mesh is going to go right underneath this uh, copper flashing. Of course, the mesh won't touch the copper flashing because of electrolysis. I won't explain that because it's too time consuming. It might bore the crap out of you guys. Anyhow, that's what we're doing today. This upper portion, that's another stage. And of course, an acrylic over the entire home is another stage too. That's not what this one is about. Okay guys, if you're gonna use this membrane, it's best to use it. It's about nine o'clock in the morning right now. If you use this in the hot sun, it sticks to itself. It's a real nightmare. But I've used about 50 boxes of this, so I know how to use it. Uh, what we've done with the existing membrane is we took wire brushes, we scored it, then we hit it with wet rags and cleaned it, then we dried it off. So this has got to be really, really clean, as clean as you can get it. And if you use big sheets, it's, it's harder to work with. We'll use big sheets as we go up. Now what we're doing is using smaller sheets just to get started toward the bottom here. So. Peel this off like so, and what we want to do is cover the existing by about at least two inches. So we get that going like so, then we come up, then and we go really tight, real tight, real a lot of elbow grease. Get it on there, get it on tight, and when we come to the wood, we want it. 
tight underneath here. We're going to take a razor and cut it here later. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to continue this process right here. We're going to overlap two inches all the way around here. Then once we get everything overlapped here properly, then we're going to use bigger sheets and go straight up and straight up right there. But if it doesn't adhere well, well, it defeats the whole purpose. There's Jason applying the membrane around a whole bunch of difficult pipes. That's the real time consuming stuff. You have to go around pipes like that and it just takes a while. But we're getting there. You can see this wall here is completely graced. The other wall, at least we've started on the wire over there. If, uh, let me see if I can zoom in. Okay folks, we're about ready to head out here. About another hour, so I figured I'd get the video uh, ending out of the way. Now, what we have here, as I showed you earlier, is all concrete. Now, I used my staple gun to put staples. There's one, I had the luxury of having one inch of wood up here. So, my first one, I tacked it in. I put a whole bunch of staples here, and I took the 3.4 sulfur mesh into the 17 gauge wire and stapled that also. I stapled it because I can and I have, it's much easier to use the gun here than to use these concrete nails. As I'm using concrete nails, I'm using a magnet here. It takes a long time, I'll tell you. And if you go with one of the guns, it takes even longer and you destroy the concrete. So rather than uh, pound it, which we're about every four inches into the concrete, we also use the gun because it's much easier. It's, again, like right here too. I'm getting ready to place a corner aid here. We know where our corner is. This is solid concrete. And this is the wood part right here. So if I, if I use this gun and actually staple it, the compressor is going to turn off and drown me out. So um, I won't do that. Anyway, wood, concrete, concrete nails, and if you have the luxury to use the gun to adhere some of it, I would advise it. Anyway, this is Kirk with Kirk Giordano Plastering. I doubt anybody will have to do this technical stuff because it's only uh, one out of 40 jobs that they actually go below grade level and below the water table. So thank you, Jay, for doing the video. And thank you, folks, for watching. Hope it didn't bore you too much. I hope you learned something in case you ever have to do this. This is Kirk, Kirk Giordano Plastering. We'll see you on the next one.